Ah, Sehen wir uns? Ah, ich grüße Sie. Hallo, mein Name ist John. Hi, eh? Donald. Oh, good news, thank you. I've um, been looking for good news. So, uh, what is this about? What do you want to talk about? Oh, my dear friend, that's the greatest news that this world has ever heard. Right. The good news, gospel message of salvation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm looking at this picture of the world here. Um, it's actually round here, which is a bit of a mistake, because I'm a flat earth, flat earther. You know about flat earth? Oh, I've heard about this flat earth society. Well, I'm and I understand no, that, that this flat, flat earth has been, uh, this society has been on the go for many years. In fact, it amazes me if these people who represent the flat earth were to open the scriptures at a certain verse in Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah. They it would said the world is round. It certainly does. I know, in I fact, know. That, that's not exactly what it says, but it's circular. It's exactly the word that the prophet says. That, that's right. So, of course, and the Bible always preaches the truth. It doesn't play tricks on people's minds. Oh, I know. I've been in Israel. Here's Israel, and I've been there for six months. And I've also been in the Red Sea on a, a cargo ship. And, uh, oh, down here. I'm pointing to the wrong place. That's Israel. Look, now, there's a lot of... Uh, when I was in Israel, there was a lot of Muslims there. I don't know how they got there, because it's a Jewish country. But now they're all coming into Scotland. Isn't it amazing, first of all, that you mention Israel, uh -huh. that great country? It is, it is. Do we not find it amazing that in the midst of the enemy that surrounds that little country, that it has survived over centuries, many, many years, even Iran, their next door neighbor, they have one item on their agenda, and, and that is to rid Israel of the map. But it would be easier for them to stop the sun from shining and to empty the Red Sea of water than to get rid of that great country because the Lord has a plan for Israel. I was actually in Iran. I was on the British Grenadier, a tanker, and the Shah of Iran was on the, the throne there. And his picture was everywhere, and I was terrified. But the ship uh, got me home to the oil. In but God's mercy, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. God is great. Allah Akbar, as I'm always saying. That is what they say, but that these words ultimately have no real meaning at the end of the day because there is salvation, the Bible says, in none other. There is no name given in the heaven amongst men by which we must be saved with the name of one and it must be Jesus only. Well, Jesus only for believing, well, um, Jesus um, only for living and Jesus um, only for dying. I mean, quite, some men are lovely but I, I prefer women and I, I was told that uh, God was a woman. My dear friend, scripture says that, that, it, that it's neither he or she. God is a spirit infinite, eternal, unchanging in his being, power, wisdom, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. He's a spirit. God is a spirit. I love God. I am God. You are God. We are God. They are God. All is God. My friend, we need Christ as our Savior. Well, because I we're all sinners. We're all sinners. We need a Savior. And when we have him as our Savior, he's our example and we follow in his footsteps because he's our model examples was to lead us onwards and forwards because this world is not our home we are but passing through as the book of hebrews tells us that we are pilgrims in a strange world well yes there's a lot of that but i've read the i've read the bible twice in fact i think in the new testament and the psalms and I've also read the Quran. You might have heard of the Quran. I certainly and I've, have. I've read the Bhagavad Gita, which is of Hinduism. And I used to practice yoga and meditation. I try to. <laughs> but the Quran, I'm really concerned about. You know, there's a lot of uh, Muslims. Nothing wrong with Muslims. I've worked with them and I've been in Muslim countries, many, many Muslim countries, including Birmingham. But um, 
you know, they're coming in and there's hundreds of families coming into Russia and the council's helping them. And they're not helping, there's poor uh, unemployed uh, homeless people around here and they're not helping them. But my dear friend, after everything has been said at the end of the day, after we've said our Amen, the Muslims need the gospel as much as everybody else. Not that I'm for, I'm for Theresa May, I'm on her side as far as immigration, you know, oh, no, in, no, into this no. country. But they need the gospel at the end of the day because they too have a precious never dying soul. And you know, we're all we're all religious in one way. Man is incurably religious, you see. Our yeah, conscience absolutely, tells, yes. our conscience tells us there's a bigger being out there. But the Quran says kill the unbeliever and the Jews and the Christians. Which is not very nice. That's but what does the, the Bible say? God is love. And if we're, we're not to be there's many people who have pretend pretend and gimmicks and fakes, but the true, genuine Real Christian seeks to love his God with his all, and the true Christian will love the Muslim as well. And can you say that the Muslim, at the end of the day, that they're going to heaven when they when they believe well, when they believe, you know, that that you used know, to be head? People? I believe they get buried facing uh, Mecca, yeah, which is sort of southeast of here. I was in a Muslim's uh, bedroom, a woman's Muslim's bedroom, with a compass. Because it turned out she'd been praying the wrong direction. She was praying north, and her son got me to get a compass and uh, show her the right direction. Now isn't that crazy? <laughs> Don't you think that that ultimately, without saying anything else, surely that's crazy? We could go to we pray to God. It doesn't matter uh, what direction. Let's just pray. Pray God to give me some money today. I was in Sami Ling and I've got a photograph on the web and I'm kneeling down in this Buddhist temple and I'm praying to God for money. And God be praised, I got money. Well, he's the giver of every good and perfect gift. <laughs> and we thank him that the greatest gift he's given to this world is his son on the cross of Calvary. The Bible describes him as the indescribable gift. And every gift will lose its value on the markets of time. But there's one gift that will never lose its value because it's given by God. And it has the insignia, it has God's insignia on it, and it's grace, amazing grace. May the Lord bless these words to you. Okay, grace. You take it, it's good news.